Hello and welcome to Word 2010 Table of Authorities. This is the second lesson in a four-part little mini-series on working with the Table of Authorities feature. The, today's lesson, part two, Marking Citations. Marking citations for a Table of Authorities is really fairly simple and straightforward. Okay, there's basically two kinds of uh, uh, citations. There's the citation that you will use one time only on one page and that's it. Then there are the uh, citations that you will mark and use several uh, use through several pages throughout your document. Okay, let's do the first one. Let's do let's do the simple one first. First thing you do, select the item that you want to cite, click mark citation. Okay, what you have selected shows up in the selected text box. Pick what category you want. Obviously, John v. John would clearly be a case. Okay, the cases will become the heading that will show up in your table of authorities. Short citation is slightly misleading. It should have been called citation page marker because that's what it does. It marks pages. Now, in order to mark your page for your citation, uh, you have to give a, an abbreviation. Okay, abbreviation can be anything. You can call it John V. John. I'm going to just call it AAA. You can call it anything you want. Then all we do is click Mark. That's all there is to it. We will notice in the long citation box that John V. John, this is a reminder. This is just a reminder of what our abbreviation is. Our abbreviation does not print. All it does is mark the page where in our document John V. John showed up. Okay, This box will not close unless you manually close it. So we're going to manually close it. Now you'll notice in your document after your original uh, citation, well there's this bracket and then there is all this other mumbo jumbo voodoo stuff. This is what mumbo jumbo voodoo stuff that word uses to build your table of authorities with. Okay, this does not print. Nothing in there prints. Don't worry with it. If you if you don't want to look at it, just go to home and click uh, the P, the show all, and it'll disappear. Don't worry, it's still there, but you just don't have to look at it. Unfortunately, every time you mark a citation, Word will turn that on. So you have to keep turning it off. And yes, it gets fiercely annoying. That's our first citation. The second citation is one where we will use this citation on several different pages. Again, select as normal. Go up to References, Mark Citation. And of course, what we selected shows up. And let's see, that looks like a statute, so we'll put it under statute. The word statute will show up in our finished product. Now we're going to give this a very short abbreviation. I'm just going to go with SS, okay? And then we will click Mark. When we're done here. We will close, okay? Scooting on down to the next page, ah, there we cite our sample statute a secondary time. Select as normal, that's what you do. Go to Mark Citation, Category, Statutes, already selected. Let's just click SS, and that's all we do. Click Mark, and now we close, and again, there's all the gobbledygook. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Again, we will have to click Home and turn that off if we don't want to look at it. Now, make no mistake by the, uh, let me bring this back up here. Okay, make no mistake by clicking on our SS down here. We have told Word that this sample statute is on two pages and to mark put two page numbers by the statute, okay, when it shows up in the table of authorities. Here, let me show you. I'm going to click cancel. It so happens I made a sample, I made I made a table of authorities for this very document, okay. There's cases, the John v. John, as we did before, and there's statutes, sample statutes, just like we selected. Now over here in page numbers, we see, ah, page 2, 
and page three. Now, let me minimize that. Again, to mark a citation just the very first time, you have to give it the abbreviation, give it the abbreviation here, and that will mark the first instance. Then every other time, click your abbreviation to mark your second, third, or fourth instances of that same statute. Uh, uh, citation. <laughs> okay. Anywho, that is how you mark. Uh, that's how you mark citations. It's fairly straightforward and fairly simple. Okay. Just remember to uh, go to home and P to either turn on or turn off the gobbledygook. Now, if you make a mistake, all you have to do is uh, delete the gobbledygook. Let's go back to our first instance. John v. John. Okay. Uh, let's say we, we uh, did it. All you have to do is find the two brackets. If you made a mistake, hit delete. Pow. And then just reselect. Reselect. And mark citation. And start over. And put the proper, whichever category you want. Just, just uh, That's all you do. Just delete out the gobbledygook, select, and do it again. That's it. The reason I stayed away from next citation and mark all, as was explained in the previous preceding video, is they don't always work as advertised. Okay? <laughs> Maybe you might want to watch that video, part one, if you have question about the next citation or mark all. Your best bet, mark them all manually, and you'll get them right the first time. Well, I hope that was helpful for part two. Uh, part three will show you how to insert the table of authorities. And part four will show you how to format that this puppy so that it looks just the way you want. Well, that's enough of me. Please thank you and have you a good day.